Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Welcome to week 37, I believe. And I am here with the most coolest backdrop I've ever had for my Wednesday message. I am right now in the arena where in one more day, we are going to be inviting 12,000 warriors for the greatest week on ever. And this is the V-Kids room. So this is where Uncle Cheese, Uncle Chief, Uncle Putman spends a lot of time with the V-Teens, V-Kids. So this is their stage actually, and this is their backdrop for V-Kids and V-Teens. I just finished a whole day in the arena, walking around everywhere, and all I can tell you is perfection. We are waiting for you, so please come back home ASAP. And then I just finished talking to the great warriors of ISB, our in-service, who are going to carry this VCON for Japa in Datu Sri. And today, I want to talk about something that is too important, that I speak a lot about, but I still think I don't speak enough about it. So here is your chief, once again, talking about a topic, but from a different perspective. And I want you to listen very carefully. Even if you're kids, teens, you just signed up, you've been on this journey, or you're maxed out king and queen. Why I say this every time? But sometimes I feel that you guys take my Wednesday message and send it to the newbies. You understand? Thinking that you don't have to watch it because it doesn't apply to you because Chief is making a video for the you know, networkers who just begin their journey. No. Every Wednesday message I make, I try my best to make it uh, applicable to anyone at any point of their journey. All right? So this applies to all of you. So please, empty your cup and listen. All right? I'm going to talk about the topic, my mantra of life, the dream. And today I want to talk about it from a different perspective. I want to talk about it like how I addressed the in-service earlier. When you start your journey as a networker, and for those of you who can go back a little bit in your memory, do you remember? All right? When you go back a little bit in your memory of you starting your journey with us, or any journey in life where you want to achieve something, when you want to make a dream a reality, it starts with that dream. When I started in 1998 with Japa and Datu Sri Vijay, my dream was, was very clear. I wanted some things, like some things. They were not million dollar things. They were not 10 million dollar things. Yes, I spoke about my um, pink private jet with yellow polka dots, all right? I spoke about the dream house and all that. But I also had dreams that I wanted to achieve now, like next week, next month, all right? And I realized that today, the mistake a lot of you are making is when you watch my dream module on the eight basic building blocks, you straight away sit down and you dream big. You dream the unbelievable dreams, which is good. We need those big dreams and I promise you, if you do what you're supposed to do and you stay consistent and you never, 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 never give up, all right, those dreams will become a reality. But from where you are today to those big dreams can be a five-year journey, can be a seven-year journey. I'm talking about the Ferrari. I'm talking about the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. I'm talking about the dream villa in Spain, Dubai, or your dream house in the most expensive address in your city, in your neighborhood that you drive past every day and you're thinking that you want that house, all right? And that's going to happen. But from where you are to those dreams, the big dreams, all right, you can't leave it blank. You can't leave it blank and let me explain why. If you make this mistake that only writing down the biggest dreams you could humanly dream about and you start your journey, only focus on that dream, 
And after months, years of not achieving that goal, that financial goal that relatively makes sense to achieve that dream, you start to lose your hunger. You start to lose your self-belief. Whether is it really possible? I've been working hard for two years, three years. Doesn't look like I'm going to achieve it in seven years. And that is the most dangerous point in a networker's journey where they lose hunger, they lose self-belief, they lose self-confidence. And I realized that about myself, why I didn't lose my hunger, why I didn't lose my self-confidence, that I kept going and going and going and celebrating every single dream I achieve and dream bigger and bigger and bigger until today I'm dreaming bigger. Because I started off with dreams that I wanted to achieve in a matter of weeks. My first dream cost a thousand US dollars. All right, I wanted something to put on my hand, like a, like a piece of jewelry, like a bracelet. Don't ask me why. It was a, a fashion trend or something important in 1998 for me. And I just wanted to make a thousand dollars. All right, and that hunger for that thousand dollars was so crazy, so ferocious, so strong that I didn't sleep that two weeks. I didn't eat. I was just a presentation machine. I didn't have time to entertain a rejection. I didn't care about people's opinions. I just knew in my head, in my heart, that I will do whatever it takes to achieve that dream. And when I got that dream and I walked to that store and I put that thousand dollars on the table and bought that first piece of gold that I have ever owned in my life with my own money, all right, it ignited a greater fire in me that Putman is possible. You did it. You did it, man. All right, now let's go for the next dream. And my next dream was I was riding a two-wheeler motorbike. Yes, I wanted the Ferrari. I wanted the S-Class, the 7 Series, whatever. But I just wanted to upgrade to four wheels. I was on two wheels, getting wet in the rain. Every presentation, every journey. All right, and you know when you puncture a tire on a motorbike, it's impossible to find. You can't change it. You got to patch it. Long story, okay, guys. But I had a bike, and I love my bike. Okay, uh, don't get me wrong. I was grateful I had a vehicle, but I needed to upgrade to a car. And my dream was to just buy a car. And the first car I wanted to buy, brand new car, never buy second hand. All right, was ten thousand dollars. Okay, and now I'm here. And I wanted to make $10,000 and I knew it was achievable. I knew I could do it in a matter of months. And that created self-belief, created crazy hunger in me. All right, that I didn't sleep. I traveled the whole of Malaysia. I was doing presentations in the bus stop, in the coffee shop. I remember asking Dato Sri Vijay to come and help me do closing. I was a maniac. I was crazy. Atta maji satakali. Because I knew it was there, almost. I got $2,000, okay, $8,000 more. I didn't even use the $2,000. I didn't eat. I didn't do anything. I said, I don't care, all right? I am not going to stop. I'm not going to rest. I'm not going to take a break until I get that $10,000. And I got that $10,000 cash in a matter of a few more months. And I went to that showroom and I bought my first brand new car. Nothing great. It was a Malaysian car called a Proton Satria, but it was a dream. And when I achieved that dream, my confidence even grew bigger. My belief grew bigger. And I said, wow, this is it. This business works. You just have to dream and keep pushing yourself. And it created hunger in me. So I realized today the new age networkers, the, the new you know, style of networking is sign up. Hey, you're going to buy a Ferrari. Hey, you're going to buy your dream villa in Spain. What about in between that? How do you keep that person believing in themselves? What's going to boost their confidence? What's going to create hunger? What's going to keep them switched on? So in order to get to that big dream and to maintain a level of intensity and passion to achieve that big dream, all right, you got to have those dreams all, right, all the way, every step of the way. May it be a gold bracelet for $1,000, May it be just upgrading from a Toyota to a better Toyota, all right? Or going for a better holiday this summer, all right? Or buying your mom a washing machine, you understand? All right? Or buying your wife her first diamond, whether it's half a carat, it doesn't matter. Have that dream. Even if your dream is an iPhone 
15 Pro Max, it's still a dream. And your dream must create hunger in you. If it doesn't create hunger in you, then it's wishful thinking. You understand? It's daydreaming. Okay, I want a Ferrari. Who doesn't want a Ferrari? But before you get to that Ferrari, you got to achieve so many other dreams that builds you to be able to buy that dream, ultimate dream car of yours. Are you guys with me? So sometimes when we are already at the peak of our game, like I sit here today financially free, I tend to forget the journey I took. I tend to forget how important that bracelet is. Today I buy a car, I don't even see the car. All right? My assistant Dorothy buys the car. We buy it online. They deliver it to my house. I don't even go to the showroom anymore. It doesn't matter. So whatever I buy after today will never match that, that, that achievement of buying my first car for cash when I was broke just a few months before that. Do you understand? A few months before I bought that car for cash, I, your chief had 20 US dollars in his bank account. From 20 to buying a $10,000 car for the first time in his life, that was magnificent. It was unbelievable. It's emotional. I can still feel it now. Do you understand? So whoever you are right now, building your network wherever in the world, whatever dream you have, whether it's an iPhone, it's still a dream. To know whether that dream is important, to know whether that dream is one of those dreams, it must create a hunger in you. It cannot allow you to sleep. That you can't wait for the sun to rise so you can call your next prospect or go for your first eight basic building box training, all right, or sign up that guy who said, I'm going to find the money tomorrow. Do you understand? I used to be so upset when, when, when it was nightfall because I said, what do I do now? From two to eight in the morning, I've got nothing to do. No one to talk to. I used to bug my downlines, you understand? Because I was waiting for the sun to rise because I know this day I'm going to get more sign-ups to get me closer to that dream. So dream big. Dream as big as you want. Right? And you should dream as big as your imagination can allow you to. But to get there, it requires you to achieve many dreams, to build enough character, enough strength, enough resilience, enough passion to achieve that big dream. And every dream you have, the question you must ask whether that dream is really important to you is whether it creates a hunger in you. And I'm telling you, the feeling of hunger for food and the feeling for hunger for dream is very similar. It's still called hunger. You understand? It simply puts you in a state of mind that you are willing to do whatever it takes to get it. You understand? Whether it's a meal or your dream. As long as that dream creates that feeling and state of mind of hunger, then you know that dream is important to you. So ask yourself a question right now. Take out your dream list and tell me which dream can you achieve in the next three months, six months, all right, or the next three weeks or two weeks and ask yourself whether that dream is creating a hunger in you that you can't wait for the sun to rise so you can start calling people, presentation, presentation, presentation and sign them up. Are you guys with me or not? All right, the power of the dream is the only thing that works in this business. The power of the dream and the hunger it creates is the only thing that is ultimately going to get you to the dreams that are up there in the sky that you want to achieve. Are you guys with me? I love you guys.